One really important consideration that you need to make when you are building a virtual tour is how can you incorporate all these different multimedia elements in your tour so that it effectively carries your message and helps tell the story as people explore all these different spaces. These can be audio files, photographs, this can be video content. And in the particular case of video content, there are a couple of best practices that I've seen be most effective that people are really happy with uh, in terms of the results. So there are two versions I wanted to show you really quick today. This is an overlay video, which is essentially just, it pops up like a YouTube video. Welcome to Absolute 47's Work Fusion space. Come on in and let's check it out. User has complete control over it like you would a YouTube video. You can uh, watch the entire thing. You can cut it short. You can pause it. Uh, it takes over the tour, and then when it's finished or when the user chooses, it closes and you drop right back into the tour. There's another unique way to do this where the opportunity presents itself, and that's when you have places within the environment to build out a video in a place where you would actually see a video typically within that, in that scene. This can be a hotel, this could be a Megatron out in a big public space, uh, but it works very effectively and it creates a very high resolution version of the video you want to show in a place where people might expect to see it in the actual environment. Let's take a look at what Laura has to say here and um, I'll explain further. Over here we have our Epson short throw projector and screen. So this is one of our presentation areas. We have two um, this is just a simple HDMI port. We also So that's just an example of how within the actual space that uh, the content is describing, you're standing there within the tour. Very meta. And it's just a cool way to be able to implement that. It's kind of an aha moment for a lot of people when they see that and they go, I didn't know you could do that within a virtual tour. This is an example upstairs of how this can be uh, used as well. So this is the early risers room. And in this room, we have the overlay video option, which you saw earlier, which this pops up. Our early risers room is really a fun spin on a boardroom where we've removed that clunky wooden table that's been there since the 80s. So we've created this nice atmosphere with stadium. And we can close that whenever we want or listen to the entire thing. And then for the Microsoft Surface Hub over here, you're watching this as if you were standing in the room having a little mini meeting. Another really cool feature of this room is our Microsoft Surface Hub. Essentially, this is a really fancy tablet that you can utilize as an... The user has control over the uh, experience still while watching this, uh, whether that's on the web or on a mobile phone or in a VR headset. You sort of have this sense of freedom still over your experience of being in the tour while watching the informative content on the screen. So that's just a couple of uh, quick examples of the best ways to implement video within the tours. And I uh, hope you had fun checking it out. Thanks a lot.